Hi YouTube, this is Jen. I'm here to show you how to measure cells by using metric system conversion. Uh, before we're going to do uh, any kind of problem or uh, regarding on this uh, situation, uh, we need to remember or we need to know about this uh, basic metric system over here. So we know the one millimeter and one micrometer and I mean and this one is like gonna be one million micrometer and then one billion nanometer is equal equivalent of one meter. Or we can also simplify that by a 1.0 times 10 to the third power, 1.0 times 10 to the sixth power, and one times zero, 1 0, 1.0 times 10 to the ninth power. Uh, I choose the 587 nanometer to convert the to a millimeter. So in able to uh, convert that back and forth or whatever is the problem is given um, this is I'm going to do it okay so if we have 587 587 oh, nanometer we want to uh, put the denominator here, write the denominator like uh, 1 billion. So we're going to write down like 9 zeros, okay? So nanometer and that's our metric unit, okay? And that will be equivalent of 1 meter, that's our numinator. And going to be the so on, but it's going to be different, okay? So the one meter, to, cr to able to cross that out, we need to put the 1 meter in the denominator. All right, so in here, we need to choose this one here, the micrometer, so which is 1 million, has six, num six zeros in it, okay. Okay, and um, micrometer. Here we go. And then... We know the equivalent or the concepts about dividing the big numbers or smaller numbers is always equivalent by one. So that's where I'm going, to, where, that's the concept we're going to use today. So just to get rid of that thing in here, okay? To just, we're doing this, is it's very useful, especially if you're in chemistry and biology 201. Um, it's, it's like your professor expecting you to show how your works and how did you get that, um, you know, that that problem it's important in chemistry and biology especially on chemistry so anyway let's back to the topic and if because we have a micrometer here we need to put the thousand here I mean one million okay and that one million of micrometer is also the um, we are gonna cross this here here and here and here and here and here so we're gonna put one meter here okay and then this one the very last one we're going uh, if you remember our problems let's go back in here the 587 nanometer they want us to find out what is the conversion of uh, uh, that 587 nanometer to f millimeter so look this one up so here so we're gonna use this one here okay the thousand nanometer thousand nanometer I mean a micrometer I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry okay and then we are gonna write down the one meter here so we can cross this denominator to a numinator in a next the last problem on the last problem okay so here it is we need to use the simple calculator like the exponential calculator okay so we have our problem is going to be, sorry, let's move that a little bit. So 587 uh, nanometer, and we need to uh, divide that by 1 billion, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and equals, we have 5.87 uh, times 10 to the negative 7. So now we're going to multiply that by 1 million over here. So because we used this already, so we're going to cross this out. Cross this out, and we're going to cross this out, and, um, and we're going to cross this out as well. 
and this here. So we're going to multiply that by a million. Okay? Time is times 1 million. Okay, good. And we came at 0 0.587. So we cross this. And this. This one here. And then we divide that 1 million again. Okay. Divided by 1 million. 3, 4, 5, 6. And our number went down by uh, 5.87 times 10 and to a negative 0 0.7. I think if you remember it, it's also going to be the same uh, answer like before the second, um, the second, uh, the first problem. So, it's kind of, as I said earlier, if you're dividing the big or smaller number, it will, or uh, the equivalent is always one. So it, it, that's why the, the, the answer is not, it didn't change. So actually, right now, if you multiply that, this number, the 5.87 times 10 to a negative 7, um, it will going to come up bigger, okay? So here it goes times 1,000, okay? So that went 5.87 times 10 to the negative 4. So let's do it here. Our teacher or our professor, they don't want that exponential thing. They want us to convert that to decimals, okay? It's because we have, okay, anyway, here it is. So the answer is 587. Right, 587, uh, 587 times 10 to a negative 4. And we want that to a decimal. As you can see here, we, our exponents is negative 4. So meaning we need to move our uh, decimal 4 times to the left. Okay, so our number is going to be more smaller comparing to a 5.87 times 10. 10 to a negative power. So here it is. 0 0.000587. And then don't forget the uh, metric system, the unit here. We have millimeter. Okay? So if I was, uh, the, the way I already know it because we have decimal here, right? So we move that four times by knowing we have negative four here. All right, so we're gonna move it to the left. So if you start here, so one, two, three, four, and decimal there and put some zero. Okay, it all depends what, how do you like to put your answers. Okay, uh, anyway, YouTube and thank you for, um, uh, watching this uh, footage. I hope that you learned something today and thank you for uh, following me and You have a great night YouTube. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye